Grizzly Bear versus American Bison. Who do you think would win in a legendary fight? The territories of these creatures overlap at Yellowstone National Park. However, due to bison living in herds, it's a rare occurrence that these animals interact with one another. For this video, we will be analyzing the inland grizzly bear in Plains Bison. We will examine the topics of physique, dexterity, weaponry, and fighting knowledge to see who would win in a fearsome brawl. But first, we have to establish some ground rules. The fight will be between enraged males from both species, and fleeing is not an option. The setting will take place on an open field, allowing both animals to be on neutral ground. So, without having anything further to do, let's get this analysis started. Size and Physique The grizzly bear is one of the most iconic ursids of all time. They seem to have the best build out of any living bear species. They are large enough to muscle their way out of confrontations, but not so big as to sacrifice other characteristics. The inland grizzly bear inhabits the western part of North America, which includes mountain forests, alpine meadows, and prairies. Grizzly bears are considered omnivorous, but favor meats over vegetation. Their diet consists of berries, roots, rodents, and ungulates like deer. The Yasuridae build is famously known to be very tanky. Grizzly bears have thick, brownish blonde fur and lots of fat covering their entire body. A typical mature male averages around 700 pounds and can stand up to 8 feet tall on its hind legs. The skeletal structure and muscle anatomy of ursids make them have a great shock absorbing build. Also, their physique allows them to be great grapplers and a powerful striker. However, if you know anything about the American bison, it's that they're extremely large and built like a ton of bricks. They inhabit the grasslands, river valleys, and prairies of central and western North America. They are herbivorous, grazing on the grasses and sedges their terrain has to offer. The Plains Bison is one of the largest bovids and has a very muscle-dense build. They have a brown, shaggy coat of fur that covers their upper body region. It tends to get darker and thicker during the winter seasons and lighter in the summer. A typical mature bull weighs in around 1,700 pounds and is around 6 feet tall at the top of its shoulder. So, the Plains Bison would have a considerable size advantage in the face-off but the grizzly would have an edge in height standing on its hind legs. Both of these animals have completely different builds. While the bison relies on its large, muscle-dense structure, the ursid has a fatty, shock-absorbing physique. So, on the topic of which creature has a size and defense advantage, I would have to give a point to the American bison. The grizzly is no slouch in this category, but the bison simply has a huge size advantage that gives it an edge in this aspect. However, would having a better defense really be more important than dexterity? That brings me on to my second point, which is speed and agility. Even though the grizzly bear's physique favors bulk and fat, they can move surprisingly fast. They are said to run up to 35 miles per hour in short bursts. This means that the fastest human beings alive today cannot outrun an angry individual. On top of that, grizzlies are decently agile for a creature of its size. Their grappling build makes them able to manipulate other creatures rather well in fights. They're also really good at climbing trees and do not mind taking a swim from time to time. Bears in general are known for their great stamina, with some fights lasting more than 8 minutes. Grizzlies are no exception to this, and are known to be one of the most endurant predators alive. Now, regarding the plain bison, they're a totally different creature. Since they are one of the largest bovids, you may be thinking they are slow and cumbersome. Well, you would be incorrect. Bisons are really fast animals capable of sprinting up to 35 miles per hour in short bursts. This is on par with the grizzly in terms of speed. But, when regarding the aspect of agility, this is where it gets complicated. Bisons are undoubtedly very nimble for an animal of its size. 
They are able to pivot their bodies rather quickly in fights, and are capable of jumping up to 5 feet in the air. They would also have a more sturdy and stable stature, given that they fight on all fours, and have a considerable size advantage. Their endurance is considered moderate in the animal kingdom, but great when comparing it to other creatures of similar size. That being said, the grizzly's stamina is greater than the bovid. When encounters between sub-adult bison and grizzlies occur, the bear usually relies on its stamina to wear them down before putting in the final blow. So, for the topic of speed and agility, I would have to award the grizzly a point. The bison has great feats for a creature of its size, but the ursid is overall more endurant and agile given its physique and mass. Now, let's move on to our final aspect, which is weaponry and fighting intelligence. Grizzlies have immense power and are not afraid to show it. Strength tests have been conducted on grizzlies, which provide a great baseline stat. One of the tested bears was casually observed knocking over a 700 pound dumpster with ease. Also, during the test, it displaced a 675 pound boulder with one forelimb. All these feats were recorded using a calm ursid, so an enraged individual would likely be a lot more powerful. Grizzlies have long, strong arms that are used to strike and manipulate their opponents when grappling. One notable feature of this ursid is its prominent shoulder hump, which are muscles specifically dedicated for their arm movements such as digging or climbing. On top of having strong forelimbs, grizzlies have sharp, non-retractable claws that can grow up to 4 inches in length. They would undoubtedly deal a serious amount of damage to any adversary within striking range. Furthermore, grizzlies have powerful jaws that pack a formidable bite. They can dish out around 1200 psi when chomping down. Just for reference, that's strong enough to crush a bowling ball. However, is that strong enough to take down a bull bison? These temperamental bovids are also no slouch when it comes to sheer power. It too has a hump on its back, although it's much larger in size. It consists of muscles that are supported by long vertebrae. This allows the bovid to generate immense neck and head power. Bisons have very thick skulls that are used to ram into an opponent and mitigate impact trauma. At the top of their heads are pointy horns made out of keratin that can grow up to 2 feet in length. They are used to help dig through snow, and of course for brawling purposes. Given that information, it's no surprise that bison favor the ramming and goring fighting method. But, they're also known to kick and trample when defending themselves. They have sharp, solid hooves that can further injure any animal trying to hunt them. The bison's large mass would also be a great factor in a confrontation with a grizzly. Even though both of these animals are insanely powerful, the bovid is simply a larger and stronger beast. However, the bear does have sharp claws, two strong arms, and a formidable bite that can cause blood loss and muscular damage. So, for the topic of weaponry and fighting knowledge, I would say they are both equal in this aspect. The grizzly and bison are masters of two different kinds of brawling and seem to cancel each other out with their weaponry. The bison can use its larger mass to toss around and gore the bear, while the ursid can use its claws and jaws to inflict deep wounds. Alright, we have our stats. So, who would win in a fight between an inland grizzly and a plains bison? Let's say this battle takes place on an open field. This would definitely be a very demanding brawl for the both of them, but I would say the bison would win majority of the time. Its considerable size advantage would give it an edge in explosive power, along with providing a more tanky physique. Its huge, solidly built head with sharp horns would be very challenging to grapple and fight against, especially when it's backed up with a very muscular upper body that can very easily flip over a 700 pound bear. Sure, the grizzly can try to flank the bovid with its superior agility, however, the bison is pretty nimble in its own right and would probably deter that action in a head-on fight. Since ursids tend to rely on their bulk and grappling ability, it's not a suitable skill in this fight scenario. Overall, 
A bull plains bison would be too large and too powerful for an inland grizzly to beat majority of the time. 